Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you for coming by. Today I am showing you how I make my chebe butter. I wrote a post on my blog on how I use chebe powder and this is the way I use it. I use it as a butter because it's so much easier to apply than to apply chebe powder and then some cocoa oil and then water and then chebe powder again. It becomes so messy. So I prefer doing it this way. I use it in a butter. So well, these are the tools that you're going to need and uh, that's basic leave-in conditioner. That's a natural organics leave-in conditioner. And I use 60 mils of the leave-in conditioner. I don't know what it is in ounces and stuff, but yeah, I'm using metric here. So that's 60 mils and then 60 mils of sheer butter as well. I'm measuring in mils because I've got measuring cups. I would rather do that so that there is no confusion and there is no weighing of stuff. And that's 60 mils of chebe powder as well. And uh, I'm going to put uh, 30 mils of the cacao oil. That's all I need because I don't want it to be too oily and to be dripping. You can use whatever measurements as long as the consistency is what you want the chebe butter to be. And I prefer something that is a little bit thick. That's why I used a lot of sheer butter. But you can use less sheer butter and more oil if you want the consistency to be more runny so now i'm just mixing it using a fork a fork whips you guys like i've whipped sheer butter using a fork when i see that the mixture is nicely whipped i switch to the spatula because the spatula doesn't whip but it breaks down the sheer butter that did not manage to get broken down it breaks it down and then it also collects the uh, the butter that is on the sides so that it gets into the mix you see what i'm doing there I'm breaking it down a little bit more and making sure that it is well, well mixed. And as I do that, it's turning even in a lighter color just to show that it is very well mixed. Now I am uh, disinfecting my jar there and leaving it out to dry so that as I continue mixing, my jar is dry. Disinfecting my jar is very important so that my butter doesn't get moldy before I finish using it. I am now just cleaning my surface so that I can, you know, chebe can be messy. So I'm just cleaning my surface so that I can work on a cleaner surface. And now I am packing the chebe butter. We are done. I'm going to do a video on where I use this chebe butter. I am not very consistent. I must admit but i do use chebe butter from time to time it has helped my hair especially when i do protective styling it has helped my hair in a big way and i love it it leaves my hair so soft after removing the protective style leave it so soft i love 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 chebe butter do you also make chebe butter if you do how do you make it please share in the comment section below don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content like this and give me a thumbs up whilst you at it and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. God bless you. Bye.